This illustration deals with installations uh, at the source. NEC 250.30 A1 exception. The purpose of the change was to provide a new exception, and the new exception was added to address multiple sources, making up a single separately derived system. The requirement uh, would have the system binding jumper installed at the source or the first disconnecting means. You have that option, either at the source or the first disconnecting means. Many times, like with uh, engine generators, fuel cells, or inverters, each equipment is supplied with a main disconnect, and that would then require the system bonding jumper uh, for system grounding at each source. This is, uh, I guess you could say, problematic, or it, for some paralleling controls, is it causes undesirable circulating currents between the source units. This is undesirable currents can cause some heating problems issues as well as interference and in operation of the automatic parallel uh, equipment. The exception would allow the multiple sources to be considered as one separately derived system, and that's important, one separately derived system, and that the system grounding could be made at a single point in the switch gear switchboard or uh, other equipment where the paralleling of the source is accomplished. Now, we can kind of review the wind uh, system there. It's electrical wind system, and I kind of still call them wind generators. Uh, not windmills, but wind generators. And then notice uh, at the uh, service equipment, it's switch gear, panel board, or other paralleling point that takes place as permitted and 250.30a is an apple, one exception. And then notice that the bonding junk, excuse me, the bonding jumper can be installed at uh, switch gear uh, as permitted in 250.30a, one exception again. So we have two things we'd look at there. What type of equipment is it? Uh, and then where would we place the bonding jumper and connect it? And then notice also we have our uh, PV systems that uh, uh, it shows in the illustration. And, uh, and of course, uh, uh, for if you have any type of secondary ties, you would need to go to 450.6 uh, in the NEC. Uh, that's the only place you pick up these uh, uh, secondary ties that you might have. And then note one, uh, mil uh, multiple sources in parallel that's fine, but it's telling you where you can place the bonding jumper uh, to prevent nuisance uh, tripping and signaling and noise and stuff, uh, 250.30A1 exception. And then when you looked at uh, the note two, uh, sources are separately derived systems in accordance with 250.30A1 uh, exception. And then notice uh, if you had, say, uh, an island mode, uh, for those PV systems, you'd see Article 100, and it explains uh, what an island mode is, where we was having some problems in the past determining exactly what that was. And then we'd like to point out in the note uh, at the very uh, top of the uh, main uh, caption there installed at source that this is a simplified diagram. Everything is not shown. It's just... Uh, uh, to, to let you get a good feel for, for uh, what took place in this new exception.